Hey guys, it's Mr. Sigler here again. We're going to be uh, talking about how to find the equations of parallel lines uh, using the slope intercept method. Now, we did a previous video where we showed you how to use the point slope form to, of the, the equation of a line to solve for the equation of a new parallel line. And now we're just going to use the slope intercept uh, form in order to do that. Okay, so it's just a different way that you can solve for that equation. Uh, now, as a review, remember, when we have parallel lines, we know that the slopes are going to be the same. So as we're trying to solve for these new line equations, remember, we've got half of the, the, the battle already won here. We, we have half of that equation already solved now because we know what the slope is. Because when we're solving for these equations of lines, the only things that we're really interested in are the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, Those are the only two things that are going to change between any of these line equations. Okay. And so this is your slope intercept form. If you're not familiar with that, the y equals mx plus b template. Uh, I would again stop and take a, a moment, take a snapshot of this, write it down. Uh, but this is the general way that we see equations of lines. Okay, Remember, m is slope, b is y intercept. So when we're talking about parallel lines, and there can be an infinite number of parallel lines, the only thing that's going to change in any of these equations is that number on the very end, that y intercept. Okay, And we're going to show you how to solve for that right now. Now we're going to use the same example that we used in the previous video where we're given an equation of a line going through a particular point and we've got to find the uh, the new line that's going through that point. So our equation that they give us is y equals 4x minus 2. The point that's on our new line is 3, 2, that point A. Um, and so remember we have that initial line equation given to us for one purpose. Okay, and that's, that's so we know what the slope of our new line is supposed to be. Because remember, parallel lines have the same slope. If we know the slope of that line, we're going to know the slope of our new line that we're trying to find. Okay, And so we really don't even need the y-intercept from our original line because that's going to change. Okay, Because again, all these parallel lines, the only difference between the equations of all these parallel lines are going to be that, that last number, which is the y-intercept. Okay. So if we start with our uh, slope-intercept uh, template, this y equals mx plus b, well, we know the, the, the original equation has a slope of 4, so we know our new line is also going to have a slope of 4. So we can just kind of plug that value in. And so you can see we, we've already started out right in our equation where we, we've solved for half of the stuff that we already that we need um, just by knowing the rule about parallel lines. Okay, We know the slope is 4. That's a good start to our equation. And now all we have to do is solve for that y-intercept, that b value. Um, and we can do that by using the x and y coordinates from the point that's given to us. If you think about this for just a second, you know, any point that's on a line has an x and y value, and those represent an independent variable x that you can substitute into your equation. And once you solve it out, you get an answer, which is your y value. So whenever we have an x value of 3 and we put it into that equation and we solve it, then our answer always is going to be 2. And so we can kind of use that logic to, to do this backwards and substitute in that 3 and the 2, the, the coordinates, into our values for x and y. And this, this is why I've kind of color-coded this in the video, the x and the y values. So you can see that all you have to do is take those two numbers from your coordinates, your two coordinate numbers, and put those in for your x and y. Okay. And so when we do that, we've got 3 for our x, 2 for our y. Now we can just solve now for that b value that's missing. Okay. 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, and now we have a, a shorter equation that we can solve by just simply subtracting 12 from both sides. We find out that our b value is negative 10. And so on the right-hand side here, we have our equation already started. All we have to do is put that negative 10 in for the b value, and that is our equation. y equals 4x minus 10. So that's how you solve for the uh, equations of lines that are parallel using the slope-intercept form. 